everybody, this is Pat and Heidi from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all, all the, time. the time. And Vicki from Vicki's Country Home has invited us to a collaboration about what, what makes our go ahead. Yeah, what makes <laughs> our homestead unusual or unique? Right. That's an interesting question because I don't know that any of us are really that unique, but I think Probably a collection of, of different things in our homestead and if people are out coming in, you know from the outside looking in and saying well you're not really a homestead well we're not pioneers either <laughs> <laughs> so pioneers uh, and uh, the modern definition of homestead are, are two different things what makes us unique is I think there are a couple of target points that we want to make and number one is the size of our property and two the uh, the amount that we can do here and I guess there's a third point is the skill sets that we right. have learned and are acquiring we're always trying to further ourselves for a little bit more independent right. lifestyle so self-sufficiency is one of our big keys in what we do here at Rain Country. We're only on a shy one-third acre of right. property on a corner lot in a neighborhood in town. And we have 10 chickens, we have several gardens. You know, we have gardens in the front, we have gardens in the back, we have gardens on the side. <laughs> We're making the most out of our little space. But here's the thing, even in this, this uh, shy one-third acre lot, is we have a 2,400 square foot home, which is Rambler, so all that's spread out. Single floor. <laughs> Single floor. No two-story stuff going right. on. Right, and then plus he has a 1,200 square foot shop, and then that then we have decks. We have a, a fairly large parking area, and, and of course there's the chicken coop. But there's places to store our lumber or the the lumber that we're going to still <laughs> cut up into firewood and well and then firewood storage so there's a lot that goes on on this one little place and you know as you're seeing here i'm showing you some various shots of our of our different garden areas from the back we have deck gardens we have a main garden in the back we have front yard garden we have herb gardens along the sides and so you can see that in all these different pictures that we're showing you and then at the room that we're standing in right now this is our now is a our work slash rec room. This formerly was my ballet and martial arts studio because I taught these for, well, you know, for a total of 28 years right here in this, this big room. And this is a 1100 square foot room. I have a video that I did that is a tour of this room that kind of breaks it down and talks. I show pictures of, you know, some of our martial arts classes and dance classes and stuff but also give a full tour of what the room looks like now and all the various things going on. So, the, the, you know, there's a purpose to this. You can't see the whole thing here, but we have various game-related things going on. Like we have a pool table. New addition back here is a ping pong table that our oldest son bought for us. We have, you know, a couple of tables back here for eating. We have a counter that Patrick put in that we can use as, we use as a work area for both of us and also for shooting videos, as well as um, it also becomes our buffet table when we have big meals in here, even though we have a small dining room on the other side of the house. This room here makes up pretty much is the size of the rest of our house, the whole, you know, where the bedrooms and all that are. But anyway, and then we have a, a, a section for just lounging and gaming right here. And so the purpose of that, you know, it might sound like, well, how does that fit into a homestead or being prepared? Well, that is to help us as far as that goes. Oh yes, and I have a sewing corner back here, so that's the other business side of it. But the, that fits into the whole idea of us trying to get the family more united, to give places, uh, a place for the family just to come and hang out, to get us closer relationships so that we can uh, not only just be closer to our family in general, but also to show them how we live so they can get familiar with the idea of the things that we do and also to open those doors more to it to teach them in in this lifestyle and also for being more prepared for what happens and so by having these closer relationships that also opens those doors so it's kind of a multifaceted thing 
Right. We have quite a bit going on here. She, she sews, she, she cooks, and she does everything from scratch. Um, and we do the most that we can outside of the processed world in respect of trying to produce it all from here. And yeah. like what I mean, and you know, I do shop, I like to work with wood, and I like to work with metal. Um, I like to build things myself for us, and um, we also have an energy store that we yep. that that helps helps provide us an income right here on our third of an acre. Yep. So, as far mm. as being um, unique, I suppose there's a lot of different. What I would have to say is that what makes us, I mean, it's a big world, so yeah. I, we're not unique in that respect. But I think. What makes us unique to the most to most people is that we're we're confined to a, a small small lot. Not that we're not looking for a bigger place. Right. Eventually, and we do after have, we get all our toys. <laughs> and we do have that that shy acre that we bought just up the road. So we right. do have that too. Right. So. So at any rate, uh, kind of what makes us unique is the. Uh, versatility and skills that we're trying to uh, acquire and hone but also because because we're preppers and we're also we're not hardcore preppers you know we don't think the zombie apocalypse is going to come yeah. but we're not we're not dead set on one thing is going to happen right <laughs> you know on this day in yeah. 2021 or whatever Just for whatever life yeah throws our way. exactly so we <clears throat> like to be prepared for a, a wide range of of any one situation that can happen, whether it just be a personal crisis, mm -hmm. a world crisis, or a natural disaster, or whatever. So we try to we try to be a little more realistic in some of the uh, things that we believe are important for just day-to-day -day insurances. You know, so that's uh, what makes us a little bit more unique yeah. is the diversity and. Right. Yeah. And that we're and and that not only are we doing it all. I mean, aside from the new piece of property that we got, that eventually we'll be expanding some stuff onto. Right now, we're doing it all right here. But it's not even just that we're doing all that. You know, the gardening, growing the food, and the and and all the different skills. But we're actually doing all of our income right here too. Right. So neither of one of us have to work outside the home. We we make our. All of our income right here with the Etsy store, with YouTube, and then whatever things like Amazon and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's, we we see it as kind of the combination of things that right. makes us unique. And 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 I I do think our this room also makes us unique and is part, you know, has turned into part of our whole homesteading and being self sufficient. As like I said, a lot of you know though a lot of the stuff he does out in the shop. We both use this room for business stuff as well. You know, like, again, my sewing room over there and shooting videos. And this is where all the video editing goes on, too, because I do that over there at my sewing machine while I'm, <laughs> while I'm sewing another skirt or apron or whatever it is people have uh, ordered. She's a great multitasker. Yeah. <laughs> Me, not so much. <laughs> but, it, you know, it, it, that makes it so that I can try to get two things done at, at the same time so that I can make the most of my time in general. So, but yeah, so go ahead and check out our video on, on the tour of this room. And then um, if you want to see more tours of our garden, since it's still winter time here, there's nothing going on here in rain country. Oh, we other forgot. Other rain. We forgot. The, that's the other thing that probably makes us unique from right. quite a few other people right. is the amount of rain. We, we have get. moisture here. A real dry year would be as little 100 as 100 and, 100 and 110 inches to... That's a dry year for us. As much as 100 160. 160, yeah. So there's Inches a, of rain per year. <laughs> so sometimes it gets to be a little bit of a challenge to to grow different things. Yep. So she grows a lot of medicinal herbs and... Uh, Thankfully, those do well here. Yeah, we, <laughs> we can grow potatoes Other and things a drown. lot of things. Uh, one, one thing about our front yard is going to be our mini orchard and we're trying different uh, fruit trees out front so there's yeah. a lot of a lot of things going yeah, on we got around a mini here orchard in and, our front yard. and yeah i think probably one of the little bit more unique things 
uh, generally speaking, would be the amount of participation or the precipitation that go. we have going on. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't speak that well, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, um, that's kind of what we we right. got going on yeah. here. So, and, and I like to put this out there so people can understand, because sometimes it's just throwing out inches to you, unless you understand what your actual rainfall is, if you think, you know, you might live in Tennessee or something or in the Ozarks and you might get like 40 to 50 inches of rain per year and you might think that's a lot. Well, that's what Seattle gets. And yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's, they're, that's they're, nice. That's cute. They're, they're, <laughs> <laughs> when we can get as much as three, sometimes four times as much. We live right next door to the rainforest, so go figure. Right. Uh, we can grow moss. We can grow and moss. We can grow moss. And we really can grow well. slugs. Old man's beard and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we grow slugs. <laughs> we grow slugs. <laughs> we grow slugs better than anyone. <laughs> okay, well, we hope you enjoyed this video. And Vicki, thank you so much for inviting us. And if you're interested in checking out the other videos in this collaboration, we will link to the playlist down below in the description box. So don't forget to hit show more. And... Thanks for watching. Take care. And God bless.